first thing I'm going to do is remove this piece with a, uh, a trim tool. You have to just pop it off of the headlight on both sides. There we go. And follow it along. Do the same to the other side. Now this is off. Now take a 10 millimeter, remove all four of these bolts. Set them aside and you can pull this piece away. And before I go too far, let's remove these push clips. Pop out the center and then remove the rest of it. Now if you pull this piece away, you'll see four Phillips head screws that hold the grill on. There's one right there. There's another one there. And same on the other side. So four in total. Let's remove all four of those. Okay, this piece comes off. Uh, there should be two more screws down here, still a Phillips head. Remove those. Okay. Now you can take this out the rest of the way. And there's your old grill. So here are all the locations uh, where these tabs went in. And right here are the two screws on the bottom. You can see the holes right there. So line all of that up. Press it on. Let's resecure it at the bottom first. Nice and snug. Now let's resecure this piece on. Line up all the holes for the screws. I'm going to start in the two side screws first because those are easiest. With those two side screws started, I'm going to put the two middle ones in and the reason I did that is so that once this is secure I can pull on this and not worry about it falling. Okay, those are snug. Get this back uh, lined up. Let's put in our push clips. And now the four 10 millimeter bolts. I'm not going to tighten any of them until they're all in. That way this can move around freely. And I can line up all the holes. All right. Now press this on and snug it up. Perfect. Line this piece up with your uh, grill and the headlights. Once it's all lined up, you can go ahead and press it on. Perfect. Make sure it's pressed on everywhere. 